Leprosy has traditionally been most common in the southern United States, particularly Texas and Louisiana. Other states that have seen high rates of leprosy include Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. California, Georgia, and South Carolina are all hotspots for leprosy, as well. The regions within the United States that have such a high concentration of leprosy are largely rural areas. Poverty, inadequate health care, inadequate housing, and overcrowded living conditions are all factors which can contribute to a higher rate of leprosy. The high level of mobility between rural and urban environments presents an opportunity for the illness to spread. In addition, Studies have noted that there is a higher rate of transmission through contact with animals, particular livestock. These areas are also heavily populated with individuals of modified Mediterranean ancestry, making them more susceptible to the disease. Native Americans, particularly those of a Southeast U.S. Aboriginal population, have a significantly higher level of leprosy than others within the United States. This high prevalence of leprosy demonstrates a direct correlation between poverty and the spread of the disease. The spread of leprosy is also a reflection of the racial and socio-economic inequalities which are rampant within the United States. Due to a lack of education and access to health care, many of those affected by leprosy go undiagnosed which only serves to increase the numbers of those who are affected. Texas is the state with the highest rate of leprosy, nearly 13 times higher than the rest of the United States. In Texas, the rate of leprosy is highest among its Mexican-American population, as well as among those of Southeast Asian Laotian, Cambodian, and Vietnamese descent. Other states which have seen a particularly high rate of leprosy include California, Arizona, and Louisiana. Mississippi has also seen an increase in leprosy cases in the recent years, and is now considered to be a hotspot of leprosy in the United States. Rural communities, especially those with a significant poverty rate, have a much higher rate of leprosy than other areas. This is due to the fact that these individuals often have inadequate health care and housing, and do not have easy access to medical aid. Other research suggests that leprosy is more likely to be concentrated in certain families, as well as among members of close-knit communities. These communities also tend to be marked by a higher prevalence of poverty and a lower level of health resources. The poverty levels found in such areas are also linked to higher levels of undernutrition, which can make individuals vulnerable to infections such as leprosy. In these areas, there is often a lack of awareness of how to prevent the spread of leprosy, leading to further transmission of the disease. Poverty, poor housing, and overcrowding can also limit the ability of individuals to access medical care for the illness. Sanitation and hygiene are also important factors in the spread of leprosy and poor sanitation conditions can lead to the spread of the disease. This means that even areas with clean water and proper hygiene practices can still be at risk for leprosy, especially if people are not aware of the disease.